Steph, uh, good questions. Uh, can you talk more about vaping for you? I don't, and my husband does, and I'm trying to accept and understand it. So with the vaping thing, it really depends on why you're doing it um, or what, what it serves for you. So for myself, when I vape, it's usually in the evenings or if I'm off on a day and I just wanna be lazy for the day, I may vape. I have a very active mind and I can get very caught up in everything that is going on in my brain. And I also have a resting bitch face, like by default, even though y'all see me smile most of the time, I do have like a resting bitch face problem. And so when I'm not on camera, like my face is very like, like it's just very like serious. And it's not because I'm upset or I'm angry, but I notice also that sometimes uh, my partner will think something's wrong and he'll be like, are you okay? What's wrong? I'm like, nothing, I'm fine. But it's just because I have resting bitch face. I even had a cousin who used to make fun of me because of it, because they always would ask me like, what's wrong with your face? Change your face. And I'm just like, oh my God, leave me alone. And so now I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm just a bitch. So that's why I have resting bitch face because I'm just a bitch. So that's, I'm just owning that just so that people can leave me alone about it. However, what I notice is with vaping is whenever I vape, and first of all, I don't vape to get high or vape to completely black out. I don't do it, do that. I don't like that feeling. I don't like the feeling of not being in control. So I don't like not being in control of my faculties. I don't like not being in control of what I'm doing. I don't want to be like that person. So that's not what I do it for. I just doing it because it basically is like a nice, it's like a, um, it's almost like taking, uh, for me, and I can only speak from my perspective, um, because I'm so caught up in my mind and my brain and it's constantly going, um, I can meditate. I can sit and meditate for a good 30 minutes to an hour, but sometimes I just don't want to sit there and meditate. I just don't want to do it just because I'm like, I, if I go for a walk for me, that's my meditation time. That's me being in the moment, being in the now, and I use that as my meditation. Um, sometimes I just want to get from here, very active, overactive, brain that's really really pumping to okay let's lighten it up let's loosen it up and so for me it's almost like being in a vehicle and like loosening up my seatbelt so it's not so tight that's what it feels like in my brain um i don't i don't vape um indica blends i vape um sativa blends and they're usually hybrids or blends or, or sativa blends just because i don't want to lose the activity in my brain i love the activity in my brain. I love the thoughts and the patterns of energy. I love all of this creative processes that occur in my brain. I love it. It's very, very fun. Actually, it's my kind of fun. Um, I just, but I also sometimes can get very caught up in certain worries or concerns. And again, I can meditate and that will help me. The problem with meditating is that I tend to have zero personality after I meditate. I will sit there and I will meditate. And when I'm done, I'm completely quiet, I don't really talk, I don't really interact, I don't really engage much, and I just have zero personality. And it's boring, <laughs> I feel like I feel bored with myself. So I don't, really care, I don't really care to just meditate just for that. If I meditate, it's because there's a specific reason that I'm doing it. Um, so for me, vaping is more of just a, okay, I'm going to lighten the load a little bit. And so what it does is it simply just opens up that ability to just take a breath in a way where I'm not consumed by my thinking processes. Um, and that works for me. So it's like having like a nice glass of wine. You feel a little looser. You feel a little bit more, um, you feel a little bit more expressive. Um, you feel a little bit more flowy and I enjoy it. That's, that's the way it works for me. I don't do it to get high. I don't like the feeling of getting high. Um, I don't do it because I want to completely black out. That's not why I do it. Some people do. Some people do it because they numb and they want to be completely numb to the world. I don't do it to be numb to the world. Now, granted, in 2020, I definitely spent more time being numb than I'm used to, but it was a rough year for a lot of people. And it was some, it was a way for me to cope through the deaths that we were encountering and people that were dying. So, I mean, even then, like last week, I had an I had a cousin who passed away last week from COVID. Um, his son passed away last year from COVID. So things are still happening. Um, and I've found new ways of coping that don't require the, the sense of, of, of ignoring or pushing away what is. Um, because when you get into a state where it's like you know what you're seeing, you know what you're experiencing, you're hearing it left and right, and then you're trying to warn people, and people are just not doing enough to, to help themselves. 
there's this level of like, I failed. I failed at what I was supposed to do. I failed at saving lives. I failed at helping people. I failed at keeping people safe. I failed, and so it was more of an angry with myself. And so that was a me thing, not necessarily, but then of course there's the loss and you lose people. That was hard. So 2020 was a hard year. And for me, vaping helped me through some moments where it was way more challenging and way harder than I anticipated or expected or was prepared for. Um, today, I don't really vape to go numb. I just vape because it's like a nice glass of wine at the end of the day and I can just, okay, cool, breezy, breezy. I'm done with my work. I can go on and focus on other things. And that's what I do. Um, I also, also, again, the strain that I vape is significant because it allows me to go into my mental um, creativeness, cre creativity. And I love the creativity in my mind when I have vaped uh, a little because it allows me to have other things come into my consciousness that I don't normally have the easiest time accessing because I'm so focused on like real world stuff. So that's pretty much it. So that's what works for me. But the problem is that some people, I know people who vape to completely numb and just completely, I mean, they're literally numb 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that is not living. And, and you, you you're, you're basically ignoring life, avoiding life. There's, that's no different than being an alcoholic. That's no different than being um, on, 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 on um, payments 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I know people who have operated that way and that's not the way to do it. So if you're, gonna, if you're going to vape, it has to be something that you have a balance with. If you don't have a, you have to respect this thing. You have to respect these things. It's almost like respect alcohol. You respect um, medications. You respect, you don't overuse it. I could easily become addicted to taking my Adderall for my ADD, but I don't because I respect it. It is a tool. It is not something that I should take every day, 20, you know, to, to be more active, to be more engaged, to get more achieved. Like, no, I don't need to do that. Like I can do it on my own. I don't need that to push me. I just need to focus when I'm working. And so you have to find a balance with things in this world. Everything should be balanced enough. And so your, your, Joys, the food that you enjoy. Balance, have some balance there. Don't become too consumed with a certain type of food. Um, walking, physical activity, have a balance, don't overdo it. Um, if you're gonna vape or drink alcohol, have a balance, don't abuse it. There's a difference between having balance and abusing things. Um, and so that's, that's, that's my answer to that. I mean, it really just comes down to the person and who, who they are and what they function. But I know people who they numb themselves and they're numb all day, every day, because they cannot cope with reality and they're going through a lot of trauma. And I understand it, but you still have to deal with the trauma. You still have to process those experiences. You can't ignore it or avoid it. Um, by ignoring or avoiding it, you're not giving yourself, you're depriving yourself of an opportunity to gain a deeper understanding and something something that may be more beneficial to you than the ignoring of it. Um, so I always tell people like, once you're past the initial painful experience of it, then start to like dig and understand it further and start to try to make sense of it because there's more to it than what is the initial painful experience.